and welcome once again to MG Tracy. If you've not subscribed, please do that. Today I have bought the uh, Vax Rapid Power 2. Now this is the most advanced carpet shampoo I can find in the UK. And there are three reasons I bought this uh, machine. I've not been given it or incentivized in any way. But there's three things about this particular machine I like. Number one is most carpet cleaners do this action. They do what the Shark and the Dysons do at the sort of the roller that was invented about 80 years ago to vacuum carpets. It's not the most effective way to get dirt out of your carpet, that motion. It's more of what you do as a human, a scrubbing motion. And what this particular vacuum does, it has five brushes that are doing that on the front. They're going, they're spinning back and forth like that, if you like, or spinning in opposite directions like that to really get into carpet and get that grime out. So that was the first thing I liked about that. The next thing, and this is one of the biggest mistakes many people make is they don't get the dilution ratio correct. So remember, whichever carpet shampoo you're using, you've got to buy their actual liquid. Yes, it's overpriced. That one's about 30 quid, $40, something like that. It's a lot of money, but without it, you're not gonna get the best results from the machine. However, the next mistake most people make is the dilution ratio. So a cup full of that looks about right. You just chuck it in. If you get that wrong, you either alter the color of your furniture or your carpet, whatever you're cleaning, or you just don't get it that clean. You might get a bit of dirty water out, but you would have got that just with plain water. What this machine does is it works out the dilution ratio for you, based on the job you're doing. So I quite like that. And then the other things I like about it is it has a really decent spinning attachment to do the stairs. So rather than you're just dragging stuff back and forth, trying to get your stair carpet clean, this again has got the spin action in it, which will make sure that you don't have to clean your carpets quite as often. So a few innovative ideas from Vax. I'm gonna unbox it, put it together, and then we'll have a little test. So you have got a lot of different attachments here depending on the job you're doing. But I'm going to just do a, a quick test of a section of carpet today and I'll do some other videos to show you how to use some of the specific tools that come with it because there's quite a plethora of them there isn't there. This is not the most pretty looking of machines but then again it's been designed to do a job. So these are the different tanks I was telling you about. This is your solution tank, and this is your uh, feeder tank for the uh, warm water. I've got a UK plug, of course, but whichever country you bought yours in, you will have. I'll put the links below on Amazon if you have trouble getting any stuff. And the solution and some of the extras you can buy for your machine. So this is the main tank here. You can see it's got a float in and that's where your dirty water ends up. It has that so that if it overfills it will turn the machine off. That's quite heavy. This part here is where you would fix your attachments if you're doing stairs or you're doing furniture and the like. One of the other things I quite like about this is you've got a button here that's marked deep clean and quick clean. If you select quick clean you're putting a lot less water in and the carpets should be dry within an hour which is very impressive. Um, however <laughs> our carpet hasn't been done for a while so uh, we'll be using the deep clean. On the back here you can see there's your one off, the blue one, and this one is the handle release to drop it back. <coughs> Underneath, you can take all these out, I'll show you how to do it later on, but you can see how these um, spinning brushes which are going in opposite directions, how they really agitate and get into your carpet. I think that's unique 
Tavax, I'm sure a lot of other manufacturers will copy because when you compare this to some of the rod doctors and some of the other machines that have that old fashioned spinning beat bar, great for cleaning the carpet, actually not that brilliant for uh, really getting uh, your uh, carpets deep clean. This is a much better system. Right, I'm going to finish building that then, put that all together and uh, we'll have a little play. So if you're building this, make sure you've had a quick play with a few of the bits as well. They'll be happy with them before you actually use it, like you know how to get the water in and out of the tank. It's much easier to do it when they're in these bits and pieces now. So the first part is your handle into there, which is just going to clip in like that. Then the next bit is to fit this into the base unit. So familiarise yourself with what is like the emptying tank and how that unclips there. It just then slots into the back here. You see that slots in there on the front, down and back up. So if you have a quick play with some of these other bits and make sure you're okay with it rather than finding out the first time that it's actually full of dirty water and you're not sure how to empty it. So the next bit to fit is your solution tank. This just comes off here and you pour your solution in when you're ready. And this just goes in firm, it doesn't actually click. Just make sure that is comfortably gone all the way down there. The next piece to fit is your cold water tank. Again, this is how you fill that one. And again, firm push down and that's docked. Cable storage is easy, so this just comes up here and round. You have got a decent lead on this. Again, when you're buying your carpet shampoo, this is one of the things to check. Is the actual lead long enough for your further socket from the area you're trying to clean? This has a quick release, so if you just drop this down, then obviously you can just get all that cable off very easily. Now the waste tank feels a bit odd the first time you dock it but it is just pop it in here, slide it along a bit again that is it, it's locked in. Lift to remove the tank so when you get to about here, don't let it get to maximum when you get to about here it's over the sink, up, off, empty and make sure you rinse this all out thoroughly and air dry it before you put it away, ready for next time. And as I showed you earlier, dock the bit in the back there, down. Oops, sorry. There we are. So we're now well on the way. We've got our feeder tank for the cleaning solution. We've got our water tank that you want warm water in, but not above 40 degrees C. And you've got your waste tank, which is the most interesting and rewarding part of this, uh, emptying that when you see the muck that's come out of your carpet. So we're almost ready to go, okay? So I've shown you all the key parts of this, um, obviously built into the handle. There is a trigger, so what we're going to do is get a bit of um, carpet I've got from the hall that's filthy, we're gonna show you how to do it. You walk forward slowly. I'm going to have the setting on deep clean, remember if you need the carpet dry in an hour, then just use quickly. So we're gonna use that one, we're gonna walk forward slowly while pulling the trigger, that will put all the liquid in and then pull it back. And you've got the option here, this has a heat blast as well here. So this is putting warm air in to help suck up the liquid and it's one of the reasons it will dry the carpet quite quickly. And then if you've got a really stubborn stain, you would do that a couple of times, but don't over wet the carpet or you'll be there for ages. Right. Right, so we're gonna put our solution into the solution tank. Don't leave solutions in this when you finish, pour them back into the bottle. Give it a quick rinse and then let it well air dry before you pack away the machine and you'll have some mold issues. That one just flips around, simples. Right, and we're going to fill up 
tank with the plain water. Remember this needs to be warm but not over 40 degrees. That'll do us, you can fill it right out, but that'll do us as we're just doing a little sample of the carpet shampooing today. Okay, let's go and dot those onto the machine. So, the first job before you use any carpet shampooer is you need to thoroughly vacuum the area. This is especially important to make sure you've got any pet hairs. Um, carpet shampoos don't deal with pet hairs that well. So make sure if you've given everything a thorough vacuum before and actually when it's dried, uh, whether that's a few hours or the next day after the shampooer, then you need to vacuum again. I'll be making some more videos on how to clean the vax, how to use the vax to clean the stairs and uh, your furniture and also showing you doing the whole of this room but for today to show how the machine works we're just going to do this uh, strip of entry carpet that we use that gets uh, filthy very quickly so no matter what machine what brand you're doing first job give it a good vacuum <laughs> Uh, if you're looking for a lightweight vacuum, then this is the Sharp One Vac, which is around um, £100, depending on where you buy it from, um, or $120. Have a look, I'll put a link to that particular video. So, I've got the machine plugged in. It's on the deep clean setting. I'm just going to tip it back, and I'm going to pull the trigger on the handle on the forward stroke, release it on the way back, and hopefully we'll start to seal the dirt zoom in up here and end up into this tank. Now to be honest with some carpet shampoos, certainly the bottom end, the cheaper end, sub £100, $110, you don't instantly notice a difference. Sometimes you do after you vacuumed it the next day, but with this one, you can instantly see uh, how good a job this has done. That is already a different colour. Actually there may be a little bit there now I shall go over again and let that dry. It's almost warm to touch where it's had some hot air blowing on it. But the vaxes make a good job and hopefully you saw all the muck that was coming out of there. Now for me the best bet of any carpet shampooer is just having a look what's come out of there. And I think you can see by the colour of that liquid just how much rubbish has come out of that. So now for the next most fun bit we're going to empty that into the sink. So this is the best bit. We're going to empty all the muck, all the pure filth down the sink and uh, give it a rinse out. Right, 
just going to give that a quick rinse and then we're going to let that air dry before we pack it away. Undock your um, concentrate tank and pour the balance into here, make sure that's airtight, uh, give that a rinse out as well and then finally empty the warm water out of the cleaning tank and let that air dry. Right, maybe a few bits in the tank that you just need to dry off, you'll see that in there and the one at the back, just need to get any spare solution or liquid out of that, that's the same on the back one here, dry those off. So before you store the machine, this bit which sucks up all the dirt, that just pulls back there. Just give that a quick rinse under the tap. You'll find in your pack you've got a tool and that is ideal for trying to get in here if you've got any hair that just won't come out. But really, we'll cold water down there, rinse it, that should be fine. And then the final bit you need to get a rinse and dry is the bit that's doing the donkey work, which is those spinning wheels. Pull your two buttons here, tip it back, and you should find the cassette comes out. And this is what's happening in your carpet. This is the, at the moment, the unique part of the Vax 2 that means your carpets end up with a much cleaner look than if you have a normal beat bar one. No hot water, cool water, rinse that, and again, make sure it's thoroughly dry before it goes back in the machine. And it just clicks in like a set there. And we're ready for the next carpet. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button, that'll really help me. There's also a super thanks button you can hit below if you just want to send me a couple of dollars towards uh, buying future vacuums or buy me a coffee that would be great in the next few videos we'll be using this on a bigger carpet area i'll show you how to do your main carpet and also then we'll do one on stairs and then finally using the different attachments that come with this to get all the upholstery clean on your sofa or in your car this is paul from london i'll see you in the next video cheerio